Hello again. This is Zeke with Odd Job Fix. And I've got a mahogany sideboard here that's been sun bleached. Let's get started. I've brought in this uh, sideboard here. Uh, it's a 1920s to 1930s McClellan Manufacturing, Los Angeles, California. There's not much wrong with it. It's in pretty good condition. It might not show up on the video, but I'll do a couple of close-ups. But uh, for some reason, from about this point over, the shading is lighter. And down here, where you probably can't see right now, on this uh, base molding, it's uh, quite sun bleached. Uh, there's a couple of little defects. Uh, but again, it just needs a good cleaning and I'm going to use some colored wax, uh, possibly a little dye stain here and there. Um, I'll get a close up again. There's a little blemish right there. But one of the more unique things about this, because of these panels on either side of the doors, you can't get the shelves out. We've tried the angle way. We've tried horizontally. But there are screws in the back, and the back needs to come off in order to remove the shelves. And of course, I'm going to remove the shelves in order to give it a nice cleaning and a wax, and, and then probably take it back to the customer with the back off. One additional thing I'm going to be doing uh, while I'm working on this, we've purchased some bun feet to put on the cabinet. And they're going to fit right underneath there like that. And these are not quite the right shade, so I'm going to be scuffing them and uh, shade, shading them in once I understand uh, what the true color of, of this is. Well, here's some of the defects that I'm talking about. We're going to work on that spot right there even though it seems like the light is shining on that door more than the other door, it is lighter. So I'll show you the back. It's just a plain plywood back. Had several of these screws in it, many of which fell out during transportation, so I'll likely be dowling most of the screw holes so that uh, they stay in. Back's got a couple of scratches. Nothing too serious, it'll all clean up. Okay, let's get it into the shop and get working. As I mentioned, uh, I need to take the back of this off because that's uh, how the shelves are gonna come out. The only way the shelves are gonna come out so, you may have noticed that I have four different screwdrivers up here. And the reason for that is, is that I want to get the screwdriver that fits the screw head the best. Some of these have been out before, some of them are a little boogered up. And the point of having a screwdriver is to have four really good points. That way it's not going to slide around inside the slot. So some of these are a little smaller. I'm just going to go around and try this one and see if it wiggles. We'll work from the outside to the center. Hopefully this will be the last one and I can kind of manage it by myself. Let's go to this one. There she goes. Now that very much looks to be plywood. There's no question in my mind. Now I can get these shelves out just that easily. And I don't know if you can see this, but I'm going to, um, I'm going to get a close up of here, but what I have, or what this cabinet has, is sort of a sawtooth system 
of adjustable shelf brackets. So each shelf gets one of these across from one sawtooth to the next. You can go anywhere you want. No pegs, none of those tracks, just all manufactured simply by wood. And here you see the uh, ladder racks, the sort of the sawtooth I was mentioning. I'll put the uh, cleat in here and that's what the shelf rests on. Pretty clever, very simple. Next up, I'm gonna be doing some stain here. This is a die stain. I'm just gonna do one section at a time, taping off the adjacent panel, just taking it down a notch to match the other side. I'm going right over the wax, and it's making a blend. Here we have some damage from a dog chewing on the knob. So in the next few scenes, you're gonna see me use epoxy to repair this. First off, I'm going to scuff it up a little bit with a steel wire brush here and um, make sure it's clean. Now I'll cut off a small amount of the uh, two-part epoxy putty here. And um, this has to be mixed for about a minute, but uh, I'll make, a, make sure I work with that. Now we just press it in there. Uh, there's about five minutes work time on this stuff, and you can sand on it in 30 minutes. So... I have to tool it a little bit. Uh, here's a tip. Um, if you've got a little cup of soapy water nearby, you can take your tool and put it in the soapy water and it won't stick to the uh, epoxy while you're tooling it. So it is a little sticky, so I'm just gonna form it here with some tape wrapped around it so I can slide my finger and get a nice shape. And uh, this is just before the five minute mark, so I'm able to pair this off with a single edge razor blade and uh, save a little sanding. So we'll take a strip of fairly coarse to get started with here and kind of shape this thing out. And uh, just go through the steps one by one until we get down to the finer stuff. This is probably 100. And when I get done, I'll be in the 200 range. Also, files work pretty well too got to clean them out a lot, but um, a good sharp file is a nice tool for, for blending. Well, there it is. It's ready for stain. I mentioned something about doweling, and that's what I'm doing here. I'm putting different size dowel in every screw hole. You see all the screws right there on the shelves that I've pre-installed uh, back into the cabinet prior to putting the back back on. The customer wanted it fully assembled, uh, so that's what I'm gonna do. So we'll just cut this off and move on to the next one. And there it is in, in its final resting place. Thank you for watching another video from Mod Job Fix. I really appreciate it. If you found anything you liked about it, please give me a thumbs up. It's a young channel, and that's uh, really something that helps us out. So uh, I'll see you next time. Thanks again.